Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And with this video, I want to talk a little bit about the big time headline making the rounds over the last couple of days that Spider Man has effectively come home. He's coming back to Marvel. And, uh, you know, I mean, raise the rooftops, jump for joy, do what you got to do, exclaim in delight, and everything like that. Um, but there's some things I wanted to talk about on this particular topic that uh, are not being necessarily fully thought out and fully covered uh you know along these lines the first and foremost thing is to say that i'm somebody who's really genuinely bummed out by the fact that we've found out since this uh you know news has come out that andrew garfield's incarnation of spider-man peter parker in the amazing spider-man franchise is effectively down the tubes down the toilet it has been flushed and uh you know tentatively speaking all of the plans Sony had for, uh, you know, further sort of expanding films in this universe and all female-led Spidey spinoff, Sinister Six movie. I mean, these things could still come to pass, but they're all in question at the moment. And I've seen a lot of people moving on to the, uh, you know, speculative question, who's going to go on to play Spider-Man? Because, you know, Garfield's out of the picture now. And um, I really was somebody who enjoyed the Amazing Spider-Man movies, both of them, even though the second second one uh, had some disappointing elements for me, you know, that really harkened back to <laughs> some of my least favorite aspects of movies from the 90s, like Batman and Robin, especially in the origin of Electro and things of that sort that I just felt were, you know, not really well done, uh, well handled and things like that. Some poor choices were made, as well as just an extreme lack of uh, being able to see Rhino in that film. I, I was severely disappointed we only got him for like a couple minutes, if uh, anything. You know, that kind of situation. And I had really wanted to see this burgeoning incarnation of Peter Parker and his world and his universe being further explored and seeing Garfield be able to grow further into this role and everything like that. Um, it, it just really bums me out that that's not going to be the case. One of the things I find uh, people are most often overlooking with this news is that Marvel has not suddenly uh, become owner of the rights to Spider-Man once again. They are going to be sort of collaborating with Sony. Sony still holds the character rights and everything. Uh, they would be entirely foolish to give that up with the money they can still make, but they've decided to finally, you know, make a collaboration with Marvel Studios, and that is what's going to allow Spidey to appear in Captain America Civil War and, uh, you know, speculatively speaking, further Avengers movies, and uh, the talk is that he's going to have his own sort of new franchise and all this kind of stuff. And um, one article that I read and I shared on Facebook actually, you know, put forth the idea that, and as I basically uh, put it in a nutshell, you know, Spidey could become to the Marvel Cinematic Universe what Batman is to everything ever. Uh, that is to say, Spidey could take the limelight from other lesser-known characters. We're already seeing things like Black Panther uh, being put on the back burner, pushed a little further aside, uh, you know, because now Spidey's going to be a more headlining character. And uh, he is, you know, Marvel's most popular character, I guess, arguably alongside the X-Men, uh, whichever way you want to go with that. But... It does beg the question, you know, what other Marvel Cinematic Universe movie plans uh, that have been in the works might get pushed aside or pushed back or maybe entirely, uh, you know, crapped uh, because now Spidey's in the works and everything like that. And um, I just I feel like there's a lot to consider <laughs> along these lines, because as I say, the first step is the fact that no more Amazing Spider-Man universe, no more expanding of that universe. I would have really loved to have seen a, uh, you know, Spider-Gwen movie headlined by Emma Stone. That would have been really freaking awesome. Uh, you know, throw in Black Cat uh, played by Felicity Jones or what have you. And uh, that would have been pretty cool. I have to be honest. And, uh, you know, Silver Sable, all these things were in the rumorville for a while. Um, and seeing that, you know, just become whispers, you know, and going by the wayside, uh, you know, being evaporated, so to speak, is a real bum out. And then you think about the fact that, well, Marvel Studios, you know, they've got this just hotbed of properties and plans over the next couple of years that they've announced. And uh, so now that Spidey's going to be sort of migrating back over into Marvel Studios' hands through this collaborative, cooperative effort, it's not too far-fetched that we could potentially see some of these lesser-known characters within the MCU pushed by the wayside, uh, you know, pushed out of the way entirely for Spidey 
in the sense uh, of Batman, you know, this ubiquitous character that's just everywhere. Everywhere you look, every property has to have Batman in it. And uh, I don't want to see Spidey become that because I'm a Batman fan, but there are times where it just irks the hell out of me. I mean, this new Batman Unlimited series, it's just like, I don't really like the look of it. And, uh, you know, having to have, once again, the Dark Knight be the emphasis of something and have other characters, uh, only the most popular and most recognizable of characters that exist in the DCU not being able to share the limelight with lesser known characters and expanding and all this kind of stuff and I really don't want to see that becoming the norm for Marvel Studios or the Marvel Cinematic Universe for characters like Black Panther, uh, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, you know, uh, these characters that could be you know, really important characters in film them in the further on coming Avengers movies and such like that. Do I like the idea of bridging the gaps and uh, being able to see Spider-Man coexisting with these characters? Hell yes, of course I do. Uh, it's a really exciting thing, but it's not without a cost. And that cost, one way or the other, could potentially uh, be the fan's loss. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about with this video. Just, I feel like, you know, if we ignore the fact that there are going to be losses accrued from no more Amazing Spider-Man franchise to no more of these spin-offs, tentatively speaking, and, uh, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe plans that have been in the works potentially getting, uh, you know, overridden by Spidey's coming back to, uh, or coming into the MCU in this particular incarnation, uh, if we're ignoring all this stuff, then we're kind of not looking at the picture the way we ought to be. Uh, yes, you should definitely jump for joy and be excited that Spidey is going to be uh, at least, you know, cooperatively speaking with Sony's involvement, uh, sort of more directed well or not, it remains to be seen by Marvel Studios and such like that. Um, you know, it's not like their track record is perfect. They do have a couple of uh, movies that haven't stood up to some of their best works, like Iron Man 3 and, uh, you know, some people would say Iron Man 2 and things of that sort. Um, Thor 2 even, you know, was not necessarily one of my favorites. I still enjoyed it, but, uh, you know, that's kind of the emphasis with this video. I just want to bring to people's attention that there's more going on than just Spidey's back in Marvel's playground, you know. Um, it's not quite that cut and dry, black and white, easy going and such like that. And uh, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be absolutely thrilled and excited. I definitely am. But um, I'm also still taking that excitement with a grain of salt because look at what we are potentially going to be losing as a result of it you know so uh yeah just wanted to share that with you guys and i'd love to hear from you in the comments below what your reaction to the idea that spidey has come home as you know you see the banners all over facebook uh he's back in the hands of marvel and all that stuff welcome home spidey well not entirely but still for the most part and let me know if you've had the same kind of reaction that I've had to all of this information, uh, you know, positive, negative, in between, otherwise. And so, yeah, I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace. I know if we try hard enough, we can do this. Get in there! Damn it.